You have served as a high-ranking federal official, one of the few cabinet nominees of this president who's done so. However, in your time leading the Civil Rights Division at the Department of Justice, staff under your supervision broke federal law by systematically discriminating against individuals based on their political affiliations. Senator, uh, you're referring to, um, to the actions of one of the deputies in the division. I believe the Inspector General's report found that um, the other deputies that oversaw the other division or the other sections of um, the Civil Rights Division did not engage in that conduct. That conduct should not have happened. It happened on my watch. Uh, it should not have occurred. That language should not have been used. And, and uh, I deeply regret it. And last December, a new Labor Department rule requiring employers to pay their workers overtime when they work more than 40 hours a week was set to go into effect. It would mean a raise for 4.2 million people. Lots of employers were preparing to comply. Uh, but just days before the deadline, a Texas judge blocked the rule, siding with giant companies over American workers. Will you commit to appealing the judge's ruling to protect these workers? Senator, um, again, um, the Department of Labor um, has staff that spent a long time working on this rule. Uh, it is also in litigation. I think it would be important to consult with the legal officers at DOL regarding the position well, that they're taking in litigation. We're, Mr. Acosta, we're a minute over, Senator. All right, I'll quit there, but I'll say, Mr. Acosta, the department advisors have already made clear their position. I just want to know if you're going to follow through on it.